Alright, world. I'm fucking pissed off at you. I mean, honestly. What the fuck? I know there's, like, a lot of really good people out there. Like, like me. I'm really nice. I, I'm extremely nice to people. I barely ever get mad. But, it's just pissed me off. Now, I don't know if any of you heard about this. It's more or less just a Canadian story, I think, but... I don't know if any of you heard this, but... Hold on, I gotta find out where this shit was. No, oh, how fucking perfect. It doesn't tell me where she lives. Oh, it's Quebec, an Inuit rural area in Quebec. An in in wait, for three years she has been working at a Inuit community in Quebec. Okay, there's this police officer. She's female, and unfortunately, oh, I don't know how to say this, but someone, someone. Someone on her police force raped her. Now, now, rape is not cool. In fact, that's the most fucked up low thing you can ever do to someone. Now, now what's even worse about this is that the police officer that raped her, and she is a police officer, another police officer raped her. The police at her precinct tried to give her money to basically deny this. This raped police officer offered cash to quit. That's just... That's just fucked up. Why would someone want this? Why would someone even do this? And why the fuck would someone think this shit would work? No, no, this is not what you do. What the fuck's wrong with you? First of all, you don't go around raping women. Secondly, after you rape them, you don't give them money. They're not hookers. You pay for hookers. Rape victims don't want you. Now, her precinct tried to give her money so she to quit, so she wouldn't tell anybody. DRH38 says she was raped and then effectively dismissed because of it. She recently told the Quebec port that she reporting that reporting the crime took every ounce of courage she could muster. But in the end, she was suspended and betrayed by the police force. Now what the fuck, police? Now, I hear a lot of police officers that well I know a lot of people that hate police officers me I don't personally hate them I hate some police officers like the fucker who did this <coughs> now there are good police officers out there there are a lot of good police officers out there but there are just some fucked up police officers out there there are crooked crazy fucking gun happy police officers out there probably coked out of their minds trying to do whatever they want now this really frustrates me cuz it's just wrong I mean who the fuck does this oh man that's just horrible I mean this chick must uh, must uh, ugh. I'm just going to give you this look of intense hatred right now. If you watch this, whoever did this, you'll know what I'm feeling. I really hope you fucking die. Now, back to the story. For three years she had work patrol... Oh, I already told you this. For her part... Miss Robinson feels sentenced to a life in limbo. 
focus submit a psychiatric assembly to intimidate aftermath of the assault. She and her employee have spent years locked in a standoff over the place condition under which she would return to work. What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I am reading other news stories. I think. Oh my god, why do they do this? Damn you, Globe and Mail, you made this shit extremely hard for me to follow. Don't... You know what? No. I'm still pissed off about the raping, but I have to get something out of the way here. Globe and Mail, don't put articles like this, and don't put the videos to other articles right next to them. Because that just throws me way off. Oh my god. Today's just been a butt fuck of shit. <sighs> Fucking snowing outside. It's cold as fuck. My dog's being lazy. The only good thing is I have ginger. Never mind. Yeah. So that's just completely fucked up. I really hope this chick will be okay, and I really hope the person who did this gets fucked over and raped in prison. That out there. Now the fact that they try to pay her, or yeah, pay her to quit is just even more fucked up. I don't know. They paid her to do something. I know it wasn't to pay to have sex. That would be fucked up, and that would just throw me off way too much. Yeah, she was offered cash to quit. Why would you do that? Why would you offer someone cash to quit? Oh my God. Okay, here's what I think was going on in his mind. God, I love her. She's so pretty. I'm gonna rape her. His nuts. What the fuck are you thinking? You can't do that. Now go to jail. His brain. What if we pay her? Yeah, that's what I think went through his mind, but I doubt it's really wrong, and I'm sorry for making that joke. I mean, bad taste. So what? Anyways, this is really fucked up. I know it's our world, but come on, world, pull your pants up. You can do better. Hmm. Oh yeah, about the election recently. I don't give a fuck about it. Hmm. What else could I talk about? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's going on here. After she reported this case, she was booted out of. After, okay, this is her quote. After I, re after I reported this case, I was booted out of my residence. I was sent to Montreal and abandoned. She said before breaking down and sobbing. I was suspended from my job. I lost my entire financial support and now my career is ruined. Seriously, that's fucked up. She lost her job, her career, everything. And I am reading this as I'm making this video, so... I don't care. Now... Now this was on, on the front page of Reddit, and I see why. A lot of people know this is fucked up, and a lot of people. Yeah, so Miss Robinson, she's 38, rape victim. That's fucked up. Her work did not always endure her. Her work did not always endure her to colleagues. In fact, she stays criminally. In, in fact, she says she's criminally involved. Criminally. Oh, okay. Her work doesn't always endure her to colleagues. In fact, she says she criminally investigated several fellow officers, including, she says, a 25-year-old constable whom she helped to arrest during a drunken bar brawl. Now this, this is a good cop. She knows what she's doing. She knows what's good and wrong. And honestly, whoever did this is too fucked in the head to be a cop. And the entire precinct she works for. What the fuck, officers? What the fuck, Quebec? What the fuck, RCMP? You make me feel bad to be a Canadian. Yeah, you. Not you, Quebec. Yeah, you. 
You make me fat to be a, to be a Canadian. I mean, who? Why? God. Okay. Honestly, I think this shit is horrible and fucked up. And whoever did this deserves to die. This is probably one of the only few respectable cops in our country. In the world. There are a lot of nice cops out there. But when it's fucked up shit like this that puts bad names on cops, that make other people think that cops are bad, it just sets up the whole fucked up world. <sighs> Anyways. I'm Charlie Stoner. Are we making videos about rats, video game shit, whatever the hell I want to talk about on this. Anyways, have fun. Peace.